Yeah, I'm just decoding a weather sap. How are you doing out there? It's uh, Noah, Noah 19 coming in, nice and loud as it passes over uh, northwest Europe. So you can see the current position of NOAA 19 weather transmitting satellite on 137.100 FM and it's a good elevation at the moment currently up in the sky and we've got about 58 degrees elevation at the moment. So yeah, I'm using the radio to the top right, this one here. It's the Yesu FT847 from Yesu. And I'm receiving with this particular radio controlled by the computer as usual. So what, you, what you're seeing here is uh, the image split into two channels, left and right, channel one and channel two. The sync slightly out so you can see half of channel one at the beginning and then it splits in two and you can see the other half at the other side on the right. What you'll notice once the software completes the decode is this will be uh, joined back together correctly in the correct format. Uh, it's a pretty clear image at the moment it transmits in black and white resolution and uh, the software adds additional colour and other elements to clean up the image. The satellites transmit on higher frequencies and produce high resolution images. I don't have the radio equipment or antenna to receive on that part of the band, on the S band. But right now we're receiving on VHF, very high frequency, 137, 100 megahertz, 137.100. So I've still got a little bit of the uh, pass in range as it gets to the edge now. The uh, current elevation is around about 20 degrees and the position of this satellite is 180 going due south at the moment. I 
can actually see a clear top half of um, the United Kingdom. Uh, that's just coming into view on the right hand side of the screen uh, on the uh, bit where the clouds form in. So yeah, this is just a, a little bit of playing around decoding weather sats using WX to IMG weather decoding software, which I've covered a few videos in the past on. And uh, always a good bit of fun working the uh, satellite bands, receiving weather images. We're up to 80% of the decode now, which means uh, we won't have to put up with this noise for much longer. Uh, hopefully we'll have a completed image popping up shortly. And you can see we're almost at the edge of the footprint. The footprint is a circular part of the reception area in range of the satellite, illuminated in the picture. So in theory, you should be able to receive a signal wherever you are within that illuminated footprint. So I'll just squelch that up and uh, let the image uh, start to uh, put in the additional uh, enhancement at the minute we are just seeing what we call the um, building of the map and uh, that's just putting all the received information together and it will soon uh, straighten up the image like I mentioned earlier uh, when you uh, first start watching you, you can see the uh, images in two halves this will be now joined together so hopefully that will happen any second now we're just processing the signal um, it's running on the bottom of the screen, I'm not too sure if you can see this, I'll just bring this up a little bit. So on the bottom of the screen, I've just, um, I think I've made this a little bit too big. Let me that down a little bit. And uh, that's the added uh, contrast. I'm just building a thumbnail now, so this should change it, I'll just reduce the size of that. So at the bottom of the screen you can see the uh, things taking place, the various stuff. That's the full received image. I'll make it a bit smaller for you to uh, check out everything. So there we can see the United Kingdom. So that's cleared up the image nicely. Uh, looking pretty good with that one. And um, that's a bit of infrared reception, which you can see there on the screen. That's a bit of additional colour we're adding, which is looking good so far. And this, like I said, was NOAA 19 as it came in. So that's what we've got. So we can see the weather pattern there. Uh, I'm just going to enlarge this image for you so you can check out a bit more clarity. This is where we're located. So we can see what's going on. We've got a weather front moving in. Currently, <coughs> excuse me, in the Atlantic. And we've got an infrared image of where the cloud pattern's forming. So all this has been uh, decoded using WX to IMG which as you can see is quite clever how it can put this additional features on you've just got to update the software to ensure that the overlay is accurate and in the right place so more or less the finished uh, finished article and that's what we look like so uh, I think there's another one coming into range I'll just take a quick look it says we're recording again in one minute so the next pass would be um, coming up which will be NOAA 15 I believe so let's have a quick click on that one that one is NOAA 15 which will be coming up shortly uh, not quite um, as quick as it's trying to make out but it will be in range and then possibly this one is in range now NOAA 18 so yeah NOAA 18 coming in so I'm going to decode this one 
Uh, this will take a little bit of uh, waiting, so I'm not going to make you sit through this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick bit of fun on a foggy day here in the, in the shack of uh, M0 YKS. Weather satellite decoding. And that's a pretty crisp signal, so it's not started to record yet. Now it's starting. So we'll sign out on this one. And I'll catch up with you again. Well, I'm actually still here if you're still watching. It's Noah 18, this one. I'm, I'm going to leave it on a little bit longer. Um, this one's way over Europe. And um, surprised to be getting quite a good signal, so you can see the footprint there. It's quite a long way away. Uh, current distance 2,300 miles, but we're still receiving it quite nicely. So don't forget, download uh, WX to IMG, free software to decode the satellite, uh, keep it up to date using Kepler update, and then I track it with whatever satellite tracking program you would like to use. Uh, you don't need a fancy antenna, you can uh, make contacts with an upward facing antenna. Some passes are possible on verticals on the lower elevation, and see how you get on using FM wideband on 137 megahertz right now we're on 137 914 started at 915 this is m0 yks weather satellite decoding foggy day outside and we're just having a bit of shack fun
but I'm currently at 19 degrees elevation and getting a very cl uh, clean signal on this one. So yeah, we've got a sickly uh, household, a lot of coughing and spluttering in the background, and uh, hopefully it'll get well soon. This weather's not helping. Yeah, a lot of happy faces when I said that. Let's cheer them up. So yeah, I'm just um, decoding Noah 18, one after another, uh, on this uh, foggy day. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you can have fun trying this out yourself. And until we catch you on the next one, enjoy the rest of the decode. I'm going to be quiet from now on. 73.